Welcome to support videos for workload automation video series. In this video, you will learn how to use an existing SSH key with Control M for advanced file transfer. We are often asked how to use an existing SSH key with Control M for advanced file transfer. This is actually pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of converting the key to a format that Control M can use. We're going to copy the key to a Windows machine so that we can use the utility to convert it. We've already copied this into the keys directory here. We will now use the putty gen utility, which you can obtain by searching for putty gen or putty, and that'll give you the putty download page. On here, you can download the entire putty package or the putty gen utility standalone and use it to convert the key. By running putty gen, we just come over and we load the, the key that we transferred over earlier. And we get a warning message telling us that we will have to save this in PuTTY format for it to be used. When using with AFT, we have to make sure that we define a passphrase. So we're going to define a one here called control room real quick. And we're going to save the private key. And let's call it convert it. And let's save a copy of the public key in case we need to add another host later. Now we need to move these into the AFT keys directory so that the AFT can use them. I have a shortcut here that takes me to where the agent's installed. So once we're in the agent home directory, we will go to the CM, AFT, data, keys directory. And you can see we already have an existing key here, and here is its public key and its private key. So we're going to move over the one that we just converted. Now at this point, we can go inside the configuration manager and update our account to use this. By going into Connection Profile Management, selecting the account, we're going to go underneath the Advanced SFTP settings, and we're going to set up a key-based authentication. And then we're going to type in the name of the key we just converted. And we're going to put in the passphrase we just created. And now we're going to test the account. So the account is now using key-based authentication and it's ready to be used with any AFT job that you need to run. Thank you for your time. The Workload Automation Support Team looks forward to helping you should you need our assistance.